so in this video i'm going to be experimenting with different polymers used in skincare their consistency and at what percentage they were used to create their gels here i worked with about five polymers and this video was made in class at the academy while i was teaching rheology modifiers so let's see which of the polymers would be best for the product that we choose to make with it please like this video subscribe to this channel and also share so polymers or rheology modifiers are actually ingredients that helps to thicken our formulation give it a consistency its texture increase the bulk stabilize some may act as an emulsifier some may act as a solubilizer there are a lot of them used in skincare some are natural some are synthetically derived but we are gonna see a few of them in this video here i'm measuring out 50 ml of distilled water each on every beaker i am going to be trying one percent each of the polymers to see their consistency the kind of gel that it can create and what kind of products can be suitable for them the first polymer i'll be checking out here is my hydrozyl ethyl cellulose hec powder also known as natural saw it is very commonly used in bath wash making shampoos dishwash and a lot of other skincare product. I will use 1% here and that's 0.5 grams to 50 grams of distilled water. I'm going to have my whisk. So I'm using this mini whisk because they have to be agitation while the powders are being poured to avoid fish eyes from forming. So after missing this, it had a lot of foam on it because of the wicks. So this is the consistency right now. I'm going to set this aside and wait for the foam to go off so that we can see the particular consistency we have and the texture of the liquid. The next polymer I'm going to be trying is also a very common polymer, Quagum. I've always not liked working with Quagum, but after this experiment, I think I would reconsider using guagum in my formula so i also used one percent of guagum that's 0.5 grams of the gum to 50 grams of distilled water after stirring i'm gonna set it aside we're gonna see the general consistency when we're done mixing everything so that we can give it a little time to hydrate And so the next polymer is Aristoflex ACV. This is actually a synthetic polymer, unlike the others that we've tried. I'm actually going to try 1%, which is 0.5 grams to 50 grams of water this time around. But this polymer actually played a different game. The polymer started to thicken up very fast and was creating a very beautiful white and fine gel. The gel was too thick that I wasn't able to add more powders to it. So I decided to ditch the percentage by adding more water to this to complete the gel. So this means that we are going to be using 0.5% of the powder and that makes it 0.5% powder against 100 grams of water. So why others we tried with 1% each? This particular powder is to 0.5% because of the thickness. However, however, this is not an assurance that you may get this thickness when you're making your product with it. Because after this experiment, we tried making um, a face serum with 0.5% of Aristoflex ACV, but it didn't give us this particular consistency of thick gel. But however, this is what we achieved. Um, at 0.5% of the powder against water.
The next polymer we'll be trying out here is Carboma 940. Carboma comes in different forms and I think one of the most common forms is this Carboma 940. I'm also going to be trying out 1% of Carboma 940. That is 0 0.5 grams of the powder against 50 grams of distilled water. The Carboma came in clumps so I'm just going to use a porcelain mortar to see how I can triture these and you know grind them into a fine powder although this almost was fruitless however i'm going to continue with dissolving the powder in water let's see the consistency that this was going to give surprisingly there was no change in the water there was no gel being formed there was no consistency or texture being built up but i'll still give this some time let's see what happens to carbon 940 in water let's see if it's going to hydrate more Next, I'm going to be trying Aristoflex HCV polymer again, this time around in 0.1%. Remember, the last one we did was 0.5%, which gave us a very thick white gel. So this time around, let's see what 0.2% can create and what kind of product will be suitable for us to use 2% of Aristoflex HCV. And then trying out with one of the most popular polymer used in skincare, xanthan gum. We actually have the regular xanthan gum, xanthan gum clay, and even xanthan gum soft. But in this experiment, we're going to be using xanthan gum clay at 1%. And let's see the gel that this was going to create for us. So in summary, we've just experimented with 1% of hydroxy ethyl cellulose which is also commonly known as natrosol, 1% guar gum, 0.5% aristoflex ACV, 1% santan gum, 1% carboma 940, and 0.2% aristoflex ACV. Natrosol is fully dissolved. Here's a consistency. It gave a clear gel. Guar gum didn't give all that clear gel, but gave a stable, mild consistency. Aristoflex ACV as 0.5 give this very thick white water based gel and then this is xanthan gum which is commonly used giving you a mild consistency and a beautiful gel for serum like product here we still have carbomine 940 in its running state it wasn't fully dissolved and even at that it had no consistency at all and then lastly we had um, aristoflex acv at 0.1 percent now going through them again we have natural salt this is the final consistency it created a clear transparent gel that is beautiful and okay it is suitable for surfactant based product in making body washes bath gels dishwash shampoos and even water-based serums the consistency is quite beautiful if you have more product that you create with hydroxyl ethyl cellulose please let us know in the comment section so we all can learn together and next i have guar gum Gua gum is actually um, a polymer and also can serve as a copolymer. It means it can be used with other polymers to create a beautiful consistency for your product. Now this is the gel. It gave a very slime, mild and beautiful consistency gel. Only that gua gum didn't create all that clear gel. The feel on the skin was also very okay. So this can serve in serums that you just want to thicken a little bit but not to create a complete gel. Yeah. Next, we have Aristoflex ACV at 0.5%, creating this kind of lush, beautiful gel. It happens to be our favorite, every one of us, because we've always wanted something that will give us such a gel at a very low usage rate. The gel was also completely clear and the gel was completely water. It wasn't sticky at all, making it a very beautiful choice to make product, especially serums that you do not want to be sticky but yet have this bulk and jelly consistency. Also good for creating gels and also good for making body and uh, face washes, fish face gels and gel product that you do not want to be sticky at all. It's actually a very beautiful choice of a polymer and you can give this a try if you want in your product. Only that 
when we tried 0.5% steel in our Prida, it didn't give us this bulk of a gel. So I, sh I think you should give this a try and see what it gives to you. And if you've tried it before, please let us know in the comments section. Now our uh, Zentan gum, which is one of the most common gums used in skincare and one of my favorites actually, especially using Zentan gum clay, happened to be one of the best and stable gums used or polymers used in making skincare, making serums, making some shower gels, bath washes, baby product, a whole lot, hair product, shampoos and all of that. And this was used in 1%. It can also be used with other polymers as copolymers and it can also create more thicker gels at more percentage. So this was the consistency and I think this is a perfect texture for a beautiful face serum or other products that you need to use as stabilizers like in body creams and all of that then we have the carboma 940 like i said this was what carboma 940 gave to us it didn't completely dissolve and didn't create any gel at all i don't know how you have used carboma 940 and what it did for you if it created a gel for you anyways please let us know in the comment section so that we do not conclude on this experiment okay and now this is Aristoflex ACV and 0.2% giving us a less thicker gel than the other one which was 0.5% this polymer can also be used as a stabilizer to stabilize oil and water product to make the oil stable in the product I'll be trying more products on this channel with this particular polymer so you can watch out for them in the academy we're also going to be trying out more of this um, um, polymers and using them in our products to see how they turn out to be but however for this particular polymer it's a very beautiful choice in making shower gels and an excellent choice in making products like hand washes hand sanitizers face and body gels and a lot of other products so you can work with it to see which percentage works best for your formula so this brings us to the end of this video having tried all of these polymers and rheology modifiers used in skincare let me know which of them is your favorite let me know which of them you've tried let me know the products that you've tried with each and every one of them in the comment section and if you also have any questions whatsoever concerning these polymers please let me know down there in the comment section i hope you like this video stay subscribed and also share this video to your friends thank you for stopping by always on this channel i appreciate every one of you until our next video i'll see you next time bye